Hello everyone, uh, it's me, your instructor for today, Iman Jones, with Korean Air's Practical Aviation Expressions, Unit 2, Part 6. Again, uh, nothing has changed from our previous lesson except the context, what we're going to be talking about, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and see what's happening with our directions. Uh, as always the same, you will hear a question or statement and three possible answers for each. You will be shown the possible answers to each question. And they will be read or played only once. In this case, they will be read by me. Okay, live here at this moment. Okay. You will be given a few seconds to respond. Select the best response to the question or statement. Instructors will not only explain the best answer, but why it's the best possible answer throughout this segment. So pay attention and try to make some relationship as we go through the program. Again, I was in the, you can be, of course, uh, the aviation industry, maybe ATC, PA or company uh, context, but also after landing ground and ramp control. So you can maybe uh, get an idea of where your mind, your frame of mind should be after landing ground and ramp control situations to help you give you some type of clue on how to choose the best answer. So let's go forward. And here we go. Our first statement after landing. We will give you PIREP upon landing. We will give you PIREP upon landing. And a, VFR traffic in distress, can you give us top and base of cloud and icing, if any? This is a strong choice here, right? Because PIREPs are what? Have to do with weather reports for pilots, pilot weather reports. VFR traffic in distress. So apparently you're flying visual flight rules, and can you give us top and base of cloud and icing, if any? Very strong relationship because we have nothing but talking about weather in this here response. Let's go with B. Is that for wake, work, wake, I'm sorry, excuse me, is that for wake turbulence? Well, wake turbulence, as far as I maybe like sometimes, possibly, could be, but more than likely is caused by other aircraft, not weather, right? So no relationship here. And C. Is that available down to flight level 250, limited radar service coverage area? Limited information here, not enough for us to make a strong connection with our, uh, our first uh, statement here. We will give you PIREP upon landing. And the answer would be, of course, A. We will give you PIREP upon landing, VFR traffic in distress. Can you give us top and base of cloud and icing? if any. Good answer. Let's move forward. Our second question of the day with a response. There is an obstacle on taxiway runway 1. Request taxi, I'm sorry, there is an obstacle on taxiway uh, Robert 1. Request taxi via Robert 2. A. Approve. How long of a heads up do you need? Mm. Not, we're talking about obstacles on the runway. And we're also requesting taxi instructions via Robert 2. And so that has nothing to do with um, our, our taxi request, right? Or statement. So let's go here. There's an obstacle on taxiway Robert 1. Request taxi via Robert 2. Okay, taxi via Robert 2. What kind of obstacle was there? Complete connection. I can't make it any clearer than this. Uh, hopefully you know that B will be probably the best possible answer. We still have to look at C. So let's go forward and C. It will be at least 20 minutes. You can taxi up to Delta 3 and hang it right there and hold. Again, this could be a possible answer, but the best possible answer is B, right? Because it also mentions the obstacle, right? So let's see, and our answer is, of course, B. Okay, taxi via Robert 2, what kind of obstacle was there? So we had to exclude C 
because uh, B was the best possible answer because, uh, again, it's requested what kind of obstacle was there on the taxiway. All right, our third response, Korean Air 651 approaching Charlie 5 taxiway. We have red stop bar light turned on, please check it. Okay, we have red stop bar light turned on, please check it. A, for now, yes, I will hand you over to ground at Victor 3. Mm, I wouldn't put too much weight on this, question, this uh, response here. So let's move on to B. And B, we need to return to the ramp due to a problem with Pito Val. Um, it says approaching Charlie Way Taxiway, we have red stop bar light turned on, please check it. It has nothing to do with the red stop bar light. Only has to, is talking about returning to the ramp due to a pitot valve, uh, sensor valve, right, uh, problem. Okay, so let's see what C has to offer. And C, Korean Air 651 was holding short of taxiway Charlie 5. This is the situation. And taxi and traffic passed by an ATC cleared for their taxi. However, the stop bar light is still on. Okay, Korean Air 651, I will turn it off for you. Okay, there we have the answer. You have the context. I had to lay out the context so you understand exactly what was happening. And of course, the answer is C. The, okay, Korean Air 651, I will turn it off for you. Okay, because they wanted, uh, the light was still turned on. They wanted it turned off. So that is our best possible answer. And as you can see, C is our best possible answer. Okay, self-explanatory, right? Let's move on. Unable to recognize taxi lights due to heavy fog. Requesting, um, requesting to brighten up the lights. Set the lights on maximum intensity. Okay. And our response for it is, this is the highest setting. If you wish, you can stop there and we will send you a tow truck. This is the highest setting. If you wish, you can stop there and we will send you a tow truck. There's a relationship here, right? Because we're talking about the setting of the lights and the response. This is the highest setting. And you, what is the highest? The maximum, right? The maximum setting is the highest setting. So pretty much we can say that A is a good strong possibility of being our best possible answer. So let's go ahead and look at B. So you will have to hold there for a while before you can make the approach. Uh, you will have to hold there for a while before you'll make the approach is clearly talking about being in the air and of course uh, unable to recognize taxi lights due to heavy fog, uh, requesting to brighten up the lights, set the lights to maximum intensity. At this point you know you should be clearly on the ground asking about taxi lights, right? Okay, and C, do you want to go back to your gate or hold near the runway with your engine running? Okay, this is a possible answer, right? Because if I need taxi lights and I need them to set the maximum, but for some reason I can't see, I'll say, oh, do you need to, you want to go back to the gate or hold near the runway with your engine running? And then I can say, you know, further on, you know, we'll get the lights set for you. Uh, you have to read into the statement though. So if that's the case, uh, our best possible answer would be what? That's right, A. This is the highest setting. If you wish, you can stop there and we will send you a tow truck. Okay, because we were talking about maximum setting, maximum intensity of the lights. And this is the highest setting. We don't have to mention the, the subject again because we know what we're talking about. Good. Okay, our fifth question. Uh, this segment, by the way, I forgot to mention earlier, is uh, only seven, so we're halfway home. Right? Lucky for us. We cannot identify the taxiway markings. Confirm, turn right at the first taxiway. It will be at least 20 minutes before I can get you the tow truck. Uh, we're talking about taxiway markings here. And of course, you want some confirmation about turning right at the first taxiway. No general relationship here. Let's go on to B. No, you have to hang a right at the second one. 
If you wish, stop at the next intersection for progressive taxi instruction. Okay, now we're looking at a relationship, right? We can we cannot identify the taxiway marking, confirm, turn right at the first taxiway. No, you have to turn, hang a right at the second one. If you wish, stop at the next intersection to progress taxi instruction. Uh, complete response to the question that was given, right? So B looks like our good, strong candidate for being the answer. Let's look at C. In order to return to the ramp for VIP passenger boarding. Okay. This one, no, no relationship. Let's go on, and our answer would be, we cannot identify the taxiway marking, confirm, turn right at the first taxiway, and of course, our answer is B. No, you have to hang it right at the second one. If you wish, stop at the next intersection for progressive taxi instruction. Okay, he totally answered the question about confirm, turn right at the first taxiway. Said no, you have to, Turn, hang a right at the second one. All right, very good. Almost home. Let's move right along. We are ready to deplane. Prepare step car. We are ready to deplane. Prepare step car. A, they are on their way. We only have one available at this time. And you will need to deplane through the uh, L2 door, okay? The Lima 2 door or L2 door. Okay. A looks very good. Okay, we are ready to deplane. Please uh, prepare the step car. Okay, we have gate seven for you here as well. Contact your company. Another good possible answer. But remember, we're always looking for the best possible answer. And in this case, we have one more. C, do you require fire services? Uh, still could be an, a possible answer, but not the best possible answer, I think, right? So we are ready to deplane, prepare step car. What do you think the answer would be? That's right, A. They are on their way. We only have one available at this time because we're talking about a step car and you will need to deplane through the L2 or Lima 2 door. Mentions clearly in the, the restating, uh, deplaning, uh, uh, so it's the best possible answer, right? Deplane through the Lima 2 door, the L2 door. Good. Okay, our seventh phrase for the day and our last one. The brake temperature weather is high due to hot weather. The brake temperature weather is high due to hot weather. And A, approve. How long of a heads up do you need for takeoff? We're talking about taking off and we're talking about brakes. No relationship. Let's move right along to B. Would you like to have an air conditioning cart for your wheel? Okay, most people probably, don't, well, everyone in here should know what an air conditioning cart is, right? So, but uh, remember, we're talking about an air conditioning cart for your wheel. The brake temperature weather is high due to hot weather. Would you like to have an air conditioning cart for your wheels, right? Because we want some cool air on the wheels because of the brake temperature. Good, strong relationship, best possible answer so far. And see, it looks like they are almost done now. I will let you know in about a minute. Nothing to do with break and weather and do the hot weather. I think we can clearly exclude C. Let's move along to our answer. The break temperature weather is high due to hot weather. And yes, C is our answer. Would you like to have an air conditioning cart for your will? All right, so again, I told you this lesson was very short, seven phrases only. So again, I hope you have enjoyed Korean Air's Practical Aviation Expressions. Covered several important statements and responses and questions today. And you should be able to use these statements and, fronts and responses with ease and comfort in your daily life and through your uh, safe flying. This concludes our lesson for the day. We hope you have enjoyed it. Good luck and have a safe flight. Thank you.